I'm a PhD student at Utrecht University under the supervision of Gijs Hertz. Today I'm going to talk about some projects from my PhD thesis, which centers on chromatic homotopy theory of topological spaces. I will first give a summary of my PhD thesis and then introduce the infinity category of BH periodic homotopy types. Afterwards, I will present two projects from my thesis. In my PhD thesis, I studied the VH periodic localization of the infinity category of simply connected p local homotopy types from the viewpoint of spectral Lie algebras. In the first part of my thesis, I investigate the subtle relationship between unstable homological and homotopical chromatic localizations. I work out the universal property of the Basfield Kuhn functor, which relates to the co stabilization of the infinity category of VH periodic homotopy types. Currently, I'm studying the relationship between spectral Lie algebras and TN algebras in TH local spectra, hoping to generalize a known connection between them in the rational case. Denote by HO star, the infinity category of pointed homotopy types, which you can consider as modeled by the topological category of pointed CW complexes. It is a hard problem to determine whether two given homotopy types are weakly equivalent because of the difficulty of computations of homotopy groups. We could, however, first consider weaker equivalence relations between them. One way to classify homotopy types with respect to an equivalence relation is to localize the category of homotopy types with respect to a class of morphisms so that equivalences in the resulting localization are exactly the equivalence relation we would like to study at the beginning. For the localizations we will consider today, fix a prime number p from now on and consider the infinity category of simply connected p-local homotopy types. Recall that a homotopy type is p-local if multiplication by q is an isomorphism on all of its homotopy groups for every natural number q that is co-prime to p. Let us first consider a familiar example, namely rationalization. A morphism of simply connected homotopy types is a rational homotopy equivalence if it induces isomorphisms on rational homotopy groups in every degree. To rationalize the homotopy groups of a p-local homotopy type, we just need to invert p, namely the induced maps on mapping spaces by the degree p map on spheres. In this situation, we say spheres of various dimensions are finite complexes of type 0, and the degree p maps are v0 self-maps. The rationalization, denoted here by h of v0, is just the localization of the infinity category of simply connected p-local homotopy types where we invert rational equivalences. Based on this, we can inductively define the VH periodic localization for every positive natural number H. As an example, let me explain how to construct the V1 periodic localization from the rationalization. Rationalization gives us the torsion-free information of a homotopy type. As a next step, we would like to study the p-primary torsion information. Consider the cofiber of the degree p map of spheres, denoted as F1, and the induced fiber sequence on pointed mapping spaces into a p-local homotopy type X. We say F1 is of type 1. We are interested in the homotopy type of the pointed mapping spaces. If it were, for instance, contractible, we know that P is invertible in the homotopy groups of X of degree above N. However, compute the homotopy groups of these pointed mapping spaces is as hard as computing the homotopy groups of X. What we know is that there exists a non-trivial self-map on F1, called V1 self-map, which acts on the homotopy groups of these mapping spaces. Similarly, as in the rational case, we can invert the multiplication by v1 and obtain the v1 periodic homotopy groups of x. We can do this procedure for every positive natural number h. Given the type h finite complex fh, possibly obtained as the cofiber of a vh-1 self-map. By a very deep result of Hopkins and Smith, there exists a non-trivial VH self-map acts on the homotopy groups of, of the pointed mapping spaces from FH to X. Inverting this action, we can define the VH periodic homotopy groups of X with coefficients in FH. 
we say a morphism of simply connected p-local homotopy types is a VH periodic equivalence if it induces isomorphisms on VH periodic homotopy groups. The infinity category of VH periodic homotopy types is the localization of the simply connected p-local homotopy types at VH periodic equivalences. This is also known as the unstable monochromatic layers. Now let me explain briefly the comparison between homological and homotopical chromatic localizations. At height zero, a morphism in, is a rational homotopy equivalence if and only if it is a rational homology equivalence. In higher chromatic heights, the role of the rational homology is replaced by the homology of a telescope spectrum of height h, which is obtained by inverting the VH self maps on a finite spectrum of type h. In general, TH equivalences are not the same as VH periodic equivalences in positive height. Bousfield showed that if a morphism of homotopy types is a TI equivalence for all i ranging from 0 to h, it is also a VI periodic equivalences after suitable suspensions. I've improved this theorem for morphisms between h spaces. A morphism of connected p-local h spaces is a vi periodic equivalence for every i between 0 and h if it is a ti homology equivalence for all i in the same range. In other words, we don't need to take suspension in this case. In the last part of this presentation, I will talk about the universal property of the basfield kuhn functor. There are two adjunctions associated with the infinity category of VH periodic homotopy types. On the left hand side, it is the Basfield Kuhn functor and its left adjoint. The Basfield Kuhn functor is an essential ingredient connecting unstable and stable monochromatic layers. On the right hand side, it is the suspension infinity and loop infinity functors, which exhibits the TH local spectra as the stabilization of the infinity category of VH periodic homotopy types. All horizontal compositions in this diagram are equivalent to the identity functor on TH local spectra. This implies that there exists non-trivial VH periodic homotopy types that admits infinite desuspensions which are exactly the objects in the co-stabilization of the infinity category of VH periodic homotopy types. In my PhD thesis, I showed that the adjunction given by the Bousfield kuhn functor exhibits the infinity category of TH local spectra as the co-stabilization of the infinity category of VH periodic homotopy types. As a consequence, we obtain the universal property of the Bousfield kuhn functor. Namely, it is the initial accessible and limit preserving factor from the infinity category of VH periodic homotopy types to a presentable stable infinity category. A key ingredient for the proof of the theorem is a Lie algebra model for the VH periodic homotopy types, which I will briefly recall in the next slide. So in 1969, Quillen showed that the homotopy category of simply connected rational homotopy types is equivalent to the homotopy category of connected differential graded Lie algebras. In a recent paper, Hertz showed that one can generalize this to higher chromatic heights. Namely, there is an equivalence between the infinity category of VH periodic homotopy types and the infinity category of TH local spectral Lie algebras. This algebraic viewpoint provides us with very useful tools, such as causal duality, to study the infinity category of VH periodic homotopy types. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much.